eBay reselling is immoral and resellers are scum. You provide no value. I've been told that before a couple different times by acquaintances and people I run into and I tell them what I do. And if you're a reseller, you've probably run into it as well. And if you're thinking about reselling, I'm pretty confident you're going to have the same conversation at some point. So I thought I'd weigh in a little bit, give my thoughts on it, show how it's not true, and in the process, give ourselves a title upgrade as well so we can feel even a little bit better about ourselves in the process. As eBay resellers, we like to put ourselves in a little bit of a box, like we're doing something that's unique, like we call ourselves resellers. But really, reselling has been going on for a very long time, and it's an accepted practice. If you think about antiques, for instance, coins and stamps, cars, even real estate, all of these things are things that are being resold. Now, is there no value in that? Because that's the knee-jerk reaction, but it's wrong. There is value because we are making the market more efficient. Now, I'm gonna get more practical at the end of this, but I'm gonna start off with a little bit of abstract here. We're making the market better. So let's take um, a garage sale, for instance. You've got a garage sale in Sheboygan, Wisconsin, and they wanna sell stuff, and there's a DVD VCR combo that they're trying to sell, and there's a buyer in Walla Walla, Washington. Sure, that seller in Sheboygan could reach out directly to the buyer in Walla Walla, Washington, but it's not gonna happen. It just isn't. That's why they're having a garage sale because they just wanna get rid of their stuff. Now you come along as an eBay reseller and you know that there are people that are interested in this kind of combo. You know there's a market for it, so you're willing to take the risk of buying it to sell it, but you're only gonna do it if you can make a profit in the process. Now, where's the win here? The win is the garage seller, garage sailor, got to move something they didn't want anymore. The buyer that you found who paid top dollar for it really wanted it. That's why they're willing to pay top dollar for it and you made a profit in the, in, in the process. So you've linked up the seller and the buyer of this product acting as a middle person and everybody's happy as a result. But it goes further than that. We provide additional value by giving our buyers peace of mind. So let's take printers, for instance. I've sold a bunch of printers, particularly the HP 8600. It's a good printer. If you're at a garage sale, you're standing there in the grass looking at it on that card table and they want $20, $20 for it. And you've heard that they're good printers, but you don't know anything about it. Does it work? Are you going to take it home and plug it in and it's going to throw a print hit error or it's going to be out of ink completely? There's going to be a problem with it, right? You don't know what you're really getting. I am coming in and buying something at this garage sale that might not otherwise move because people know that printers can be a little finicky and they're scared to buy it. But I buy it, I fix it up, I put it on eBay. Now somebody comes along and sees that printer and goes, wow, there's an 8600. They want $120 for it. That's more expensive than what I could theoretically get it at a garage sale. But that eBay reseller right there has a 100% feedback score. He is standing behind his product and I do because it's very important to me. The buyer is knowing that they are going to get something that will work because I've cleaned it up, I've inspected it, and I'm saying it works. And if I lie and I don't sell things that work well, I'm gonna get my feedback scores gonna crater and people aren't gonna buy for me anymore. I'm gonna be out of the market and no longer will, be, uh, will I be a middle person. Now, I want to address the third one that gets a lot of traction and that is if it weren't for you eBay resellers, people coming to the thrift stores that had lower means, that's what thrift stores were created for originally, would be able to buy the products that you're taking away from the store. Okay, that's true. I am buying things and I'm taking them away. But I can also tell you that I'm bringing things to the store. Before I was a reseller, I never went to thrift stores. It just wasn't something I did. Now that I'm a reseller, when I go to Goodwill, often I take extra stuff to donate to Goodwill or St. Vincent's. So yes, I'm taking things out of the store, but I'm also putting things into the store that otherwise would not be there, but for me being a reseller and going to Goodwill to look for things to sell. And I think we should quit calling ourselves eBay resellers because really, what do we do? We sell primarily used items, but we're not a reseller. We're a broker of fine textiles and durable goods. If you are an eBay reseller or thinking of becoming one because of debt, you should check out the Financial Acumen course as seen on World Business with Kathy Ireland. The Financial Acumen course is designed to teach you all the things you never learned about money, 
debt and investments in school, but should have. It teaches you how to take control of your finances with proven principles and strategies to get out of debt and build your retirement nest egg for a wealthy lifestyle. The course is fully narrated and includes videos and animations along with exercises and assignments that are supported by a downloadable workbook. And I spent an afternoon discussing it with supermodel turned businesswoman Kathy Ireland. You can see that conversation over at YourDebtFreeFuture.com. The course is not giving financial advice. It is simply teaching concepts that will supercharge your financial literacy and make you more money savvy. To get started, head over to YourDebtFreeFuture.com. Until next time, happy thrifting!